If you're in the SEO world, you probably heard of ChatGPT. Not only have you heard about it, you are probably losing sleep about it right about now. Tell me I'm wrong. It seems like out of nowhere, this new and exciting thing came out, a chatbot that can answer questions and learn by itself and give you answers in the form of text like an actual human being. I know it sounds crazy, but it's already happening right now. In this video, I want to cover the effects of ChatGPT on the SEO world, on the search engine optimization industry, on the publishing industry, on the digital media industry, world if you will what changes it already made to the industry already only been out for like a month or so and what the future holds now that we know that this technology not only exists because it's not necessarily a new thing but already being used and what am i personally doing about it in my business okay let's take a look at what were the effects of the market with this eminent release well the first thing when it was released i noticed it was like the fastest growing app or service to cross 1 million users winning over apps like instagram and a few other very popular apps like tiktok i think it even passed tiktok and in a very short while across 1 million users already showing its huge potential its huge popularity this immediately caused panic in the seo world and even inside companies like google who have been dominating the search engine industry industry for over two decades seemingly no one has threatened Google in the last 20 years until this chat GPT thing came along and all of a sudden everybody is freaking out. People all over the industry started saying the familiar old saying SEO is dead, search engine optimization is gone, it's dead, which obviously we heard it a million times before and you know is it really different this time i don't know only time can tell another thing we immediately noticed is that google response was swift and immediate and aggressive the ceo called an all hands meeting on hand meeting including he also invited the two founders of google larry page and sergey brin to come on board to this meeting to consult and see how can they deal with this new threat that was coming up. Immediately, they announced big changes to the search engine, introducing their own version of ChatGPT that will be rolling out very soon to the Google search. As I'm recording this, there was an update that Google has released that saying they already released a test product of their chatbot it's called apprentice bard and it's already out for like uh, a control group to test it out and see when they can release it to the general public while many don't realize this uh, ai is not something new to google they have been using artificial intelligence for years now inside their own search engine inside google maps and a lot of other products that they own and operate but now now uh, they want to release the biggest change yet which is called Apprentice Bard which will actually be incorporated in the search engine results page itself. If I'm looking at the screenshot that was published from the blog post by the CEO of Google like showing how the new chat feature will look like inside the Google search it is clear that the Google search engine page is about to change yet again and maybe have its biggest change in a long long time another interesting thing uh, regarding google is that all of a sudden they released changes to their content policy page until recently it clearly stated that they will promote content made by people made by humans or people and not search engines which obviously was kind of a jab for uh, to AI content. Now all of a sudden the content policy page has changed the wording and it is now obviously the content policy reads that they are in fact okay with AI content as long as it meets their helpful content 
policies. This clearly shows a shift in how Google will treat AI content. This is a huge change. Google has already been eating up the search engine results page with their own featured snippets, YouTube videos. People also ask, they, they have been eating up the, the real estate on the search engine results page by, and by doing that, they reduced the CTR, which is the click-through rate that users click for publishers' sites to read more. This move might take even more real estate space away from publishers and website owners and content creators and give it to the Google search. Apparently, we don't know exactly because they haven't released it yet, but as it turns out, it could be that another CTR stab is going to be on publishers. As publishers all over the world, me including, are preparing themselves for the day of the release, there isn't really much you can do about it. I mean, as of right now, it seems like publishers that post heavily specific facts about certain things, it seems like these publishers might be hurt the most because Prentice Bard will probably be able to quickly answer these type of queries, search questions, search queries. So similar to what we are already seeing with like featured snippets. For publishers who provide deep, unique, creative content, the chat feature might not do as well of a job as a human being. So it might hurt less the CDR and maybe even the chatbot won't be able to answer that question. So we will just present links to other publishers. As to myself, as to my business, I own a digital media company. We own 30 brands of content websites. Uh, we reach 2 million people every month with our sites and content. My team of editors, graphic designer, content writers, we spend a lot of time, a lot of energy on creating our content. So. Our portfolio is kind of a mix of a different niches. We have sites from uh, food niches, food blog, recipe blogs, tech related, even dating and relationship advice. So gaming sites, we have a few gaming sites. So I don't know what I need to do to prepare myself. As the nature of this business, digital publishing, we are heavily reliant on Google to send us traffic. And while there are other major players like uh, Dot Dash and Meredith, which is one of the biggest publishers in the world right now, and they are also heavily dependent on Google search traffic, I think because of their size, they could take a hit to their CDR and traffic, while smaller brands will have much harder time to survive. Here's an interesting side fact about open AI chat GPT product. The company was well founded by Microsoft, which is again a huge competitor to Google and for years tried to kind of chase Google from the search engine industry. But a, a long time ago, they invested over a billion dollars in OpenAI to develop this chat GPT product. And they have a major stake in this technology and company. And they actually were quick to announce that they are going to incorporate ChatGPT into their Microsoft Bing search engine in order to beat Google at this game. In fact, you can already use the ChatGPT incorporated into the Bing search engine if you agree to download the Edge, Microsoft Edge browser and make it your default browser and then you can start using Bing search engine with the chat GPT. If you don't want to do any of these things, you will have to wait when they release it to the mass public. So in closing, while I do not believe Bing is going to overrun Google in the search game, I believe Google is more advanced. Once they incorporate their own version of ChatGPT into their search engine, I'm pretty sure all the users who have been using Google up until that point will still be using Google. Finally, someone has been kind of shaking up the company and it's a credible threat. 2023 is definitely going to be a very interesting year in the search engine optimization world. And I guess we will have to wait and see how everything I just talked about is going to play out.
A quick note before we continue, if you gain value from this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel as I post regularly about entrepreneurship, business, finance, and I also do cool tech reviews about stuff I actually buy and use. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.